Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to take an interactive InDesign document, publish it online, and then take the embed code uh, from your online uh, file and uh, upload it to your Behance portfolio. So the first thing I'm going to do, share my screen. I'm going to share it with sound because I have sound attached to this file. This is an InDesign file of a mock travel brochure. And in this brochure, I have a cover and three spreads and a back cover. And taking a look at <clears throat> one of the spreads here, if I preview this in the EPUB previewer by holding down the Option, Shift, and Return key. Okay, we can see that uh, the music starts playing <clears throat> when the page loads, and then there's a little button right here that stops the music, and if I click it again, it plays the music. Uh, we can see some animations happening on the page. We can also see that this word Tokyo <clears throat> kind of comes in from the top. And this really is uh, reduced in opacity, but in this EPUB previewer, it's not showing that. So when we upload it to uh, adobe.com, it, uh, <clears throat> it will show the actual uh, reduced opacity to this. If I click again on this, Okay, so we see that the button works. We have animations that are going on. Actually, the rest of these pages kind of do the same thing, so don't have to go through that. See, this is the way that word Tokyo is supposed to look. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, publish this online. So to publish online, we simply go up to the top here. And if you have uh, <clears throat> an older version of uh, Adobe CC, you should see a whole panel up here that says uh, publish online. This is the latest version 2020. So you click this icon here, come down to publish online. <clears throat> the publish online <clears throat> dialog box comes out. You will click, uh, the default is publish new document. You'll type in the name of your document, a little description whether there are single pages or spreads, and in this case they're spreads, and so I'll click Publish. And we'll wait for that to upload. There was also a feature there that said, uh, a choice there that said, update existing documents. So if you have a document already up there and you're, already, you're just updating uh, uh, certain elements of that, then <clears throat> that's what you can push instead of uh, uploading the whole document. So the document is being uploaded. You can view the document here before you uh, close out of this. You can also copy the URL and send this to whoever through Facebook or um, paste it on your website or email it to somebody. I'm going to view this document for a sec. So it takes me to the Adobe website, ind.adobe.com. So this is how your users will uh, see this. And you can see that uh, it starts with the cover and I go to the next page. And what's interesting is, there we go. Took a little time for the uh, sound to kick on, but uh, now that it's it's there, I think it'll it'll come on faster. Okay, so this is the second spread uh, or the first spread, and go back to the cover and so forth. Third spread. And then the back page. And I didn't <clears throat> attach music to all of the other spreads, just the Tokyo spread. So when we hit it, you'll hear the music. 
click the stop button and it stops. Okay, so that's working fine. And so now what we want to do is find the embed code for this. And that is located down at the bottom right under the three dots right here. I'm going to click that and go up to embed. And you're going to find the code here for this project. We're going to click once in here. And I'm going to copy this, Command C or Control C on a PC. And with that embed code copied, I'll now go to my Behance page. So I've loaded up my Behance page here. <clears throat> and to get this in your work section, you're going to create a project. So I'm going to go up to Create Project. And that is my phone ringing. Uh, once you click on Create Project, you're going to go to the Embed icon here. And it'll say Embed Media. So we're going to paste in that Embed code, Command-V. I'm going to click Embed. So basically now you're, uh, when it says read now, if you click on this, um, you're reading, you will go to adobe.com and you'll see this. So we already did that. So we'll continue. And then you come to uh, this where uh, you're going to upload uh, a thumbnail for this particular project. And I actually did a screen capture of the cover of this. So if we go over here and uh, <clears throat> we look at the cover of this, I took a screenshot of this and I have it on my desktop right here under Japan cover thumbnail. So what I'll do is I'll upload that image and there it is. Click open. And that will be the thumbnail that I see on the uh, <clears throat> on the main page of my Behance site. So there it is. You can also crop this cover if you want. You can come in and uh, just take a certain portion of this, but I'm going to use the full graphic and hit crop. And then we're going to give it a title. I'm going to call this the Japan brochure example. We can add uh, tags to this, um, which I'll do later. I'll say that this was done in Adobe InDesign. It's a graphic design piece. It has interaction to it. And then I'll publish this. So you can see it's publishing the project. There's a uh, <clears throat> link here to the Behance page if you want to send that along to somebody. So now it's on my Behance page. So if I go to my main profile page, I will see it right there along with some of the other projects that I have. So this is how you would uh, get a InDesign project, interactive project on your Behance page. And you would do this in, in uh, you know, even if it wasn't an interactive project, you would just create a project and you would upload. Um, if it was a JPEG, you could just upload a JPEG or... Uh, <clears throat> so there it is. And so when someone comes to your Behance page, they will see your thumbnail here. Click on it. They see the read now. And once they see the read now, see I'm still in Behance right here. So once I click read now, I go to full screen. And I'm now on Adobe's uh, uh, site. And I will see this full screen. And again, it looks like it's taking a little time for the uh, music to play. Go to the next spread. See the animations come out. And that 
is it. So that's the way you do it. Simply create your project in InDesign, publish online to Adobe, adobe.com, take the embed code, go over to Behance, create a new project, paste in the embed code, <clears throat> fill out the dialog boxes, and you're done. Simple as that. See ya.